Hey y'all, it's TX Stampin' Sharon. I am super excited about tonight's card. We're going to be sending some smiles. I am live on Thursday, May 26th already. Boy, where did May go? I don't know. Um, it is 7 o'clock p.m. Central. If you're watching the replay, I sure hope you enjoy this card. Um, I do want to say hello to all of those stamping friends who have joined me on the chat. The fun thing about doing lives is, number one, you can jump on early and chat with other um, stamping friends. Number two, you can ask me questions. You can say, hey, what about this? Or what about that? And if I've got it close or I know right where it's at, I can help answer your questions. So, um, yes. And I also want to um, welcome my friend, Michelle Batson. She helps me on my lives. She helps answer your questions while I'm demonstrating. She helps guide you into different places if you have a question. Um, and so I really, I've said it a million times, I know, Michelle, but I can't do this without you. <laughs> I just really appreciate Michelle. So y'all say hi to Michelle. Um, speaking of saying hi, if you want to uh, chat with anybody in the chat box while we're live, um, you can type the at sign and start typing their name and then the message will pop up for them to see. So hope that's helpful. Um, you do need to be logged in to YouTube to do the chatting or to comment. So after the replay, um, after the after the live is over and you're watching the replay, comment below the video. What did you think about this card? What did you think about the tips that I'm going to share? Because I've got quite a few, I would say up my sleeve, but I don't have any sleeves. <laughs> We all love Michelle. That's right, uh, Mary Yates. We do. We love and appreciate Michelle a lot. So there you go. Um, I hope that everybody, I'm seeing a lot of rain all over the country in the chat. Um, here in Central Texas, it's hotter than you know what. <laughs> what do they say, Hades? <laughs> it was so hot today. And my grandson Baylor is here. And I'm like, uh-oh, what am I going to do with him while I'm live? So Mimi filled up a big bowl of water, put all his bathtub toys in it, stripped him down. He's out on the patio with his mom and his puppy. So we're going to we're going to get through our lab and then we will go out and play in the water with our little grandson. <laughs> OK, hello, Mallory. Hello, Renee. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Kathy. Hello, Bay. How are you? Hello, Carol. The hubs. Well, I can't say that, Mary Yates, <laughs> but you live in Texas, Mary, so you know how hot it is. So, all right, we've got some people joining us um, after the live is over. I will have over on the blog. Fingers crossed. Um, technology has been wonky today. Wonky on Facebook, wonky on another platform. So um, I should have uh, the download, the free download for you over on the blog. After the live is over, <clears throat> excuse me, um, at 8 p.m. Central. So um, I'm going to just double do some double checking and make sure everything's good to go. But, you know, you got to love technology. And y'all who've watched me for a hot minute, you know that if there's going to be a technology issue, it'll happen to me. So there you go. Um, OK, hello. Let's see. Danette, is that how you pronounce it? From Virginia. OK, we're going to switch the cameras. And we're going to be playing with Sending Smiles. What a perfect stamp set. I love to smile. And it's just, it's contagious. If you smile at somebody, they'll smile back. So we're going to send smiles in a card. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what we're doing. This stamp set came from, um, whoops, lost my stamp. Don't lose that. Is in the new annual catalog. If you don't currently have a demonstrator and you would like one of these catalogs, I'm more than happy to send one to you for free. You just need to look below the video, visit my blog. Uh, there is a should be a request catalog underneath the video, and then um, just give me your information and we will send it to you. So the stamp set is actually on page 14 in the annual catalog. And when you just look at the artist's pictures, you're just like, 
oh my gosh, I'm so inspired. I mean, just, is it the colors? Is it the simplicity of the stamp set? I think it's both, but definitely the simplicity of the stamp set. So it's so easy to use. And I think for experienced stampers or new stampers, it is a great, it's a great stamp set. So if you're new to stamping, this is a good one because there's no coloring. You're just stamps, paper, and ink kind of thing. We are going to be adding some dyes because it does come with dyes. And the dyes are super fun. They do cut out the flowers and then they cut out the sending word because we're going to be sending smiles. Okay. We're going to set this aside. The other thing that I'm using is absolutely one of my new favorites. And it is on page 137. And it is the T Boutique uh, cards and envelopes. Okay. I, I am a, a bright colored girl. I love bright colors. Oh, wait, did we talk about my nails? Look at those bright colored nails. Mm -hmm. I told my newsletter folks that if you hadn't seen my nails yet, you don't want to miss that tonight. I had so much fun getting my confetti mermaid nails done this week. But this, these bright colors, um, all of the new in colors are just they go so well together. I mean, they're gorgeous. Um, and then here are the note cards. They all coordinate with the envelopes. Okay. So we're going to get one out. We're going to get this one out to make our card. Um, I think that there is some odd things all over the screen. Uh-oh. Really? Hmm. Let's see if we can get rid of that. Um, are you seeing the stuff at the bottom? Okay, time out. Let's see if we can hide that. Oh, I don't want to push too many buttons. Why is it? Why are they there? I just now noticed that. Thanks, Michelle. Uh, nope, that's not it. Nope. Okay. We're going to go with it. Stuff on the, oh, y'all see the stuff on the right side too? Oh, mercy. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go with it because I don't want to push the wrong button and disconnect. So, yep. I'm looking at my other computer. I see it. What did I say earlier about technology? What did I say? I did have to talk to the company this week because if you're a mystery stamper, you know that I had my camera wonky. I had the black bars on it. So just ignore it. Just watch the card. Okay. Look at the pretty colors. <laughs> oh, mercy. All right. So we're going to get our envelope. We'll have that ready. I'm telling you, it is here on my computer as well. It's fine. It's fine. When you change to a different angle, it added up. When I change to a different angle, <clears throat> when I change to the camera, so it's on the phone and I can't touch the phone. All right. I'm going to get a little sip of water and take a deep breath. The happiness meter. I love that, MGL. <laughs> The louder I talk or the louder I laugh, the meter goes up. <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. Mercy, mercy, mercy. I am telling you, it's always something. All right, so here is our card and our envelope. And just look how fun that is. This time we're going to be sending birthday wishes. Okay, we're going to get our stamps out. And we're going to get, I mean, these new in colors. Now I am bringing in Daffodil Delight because that is one of my favorites. It's the happiness. The flashing colors is hypnotizing, says Barbie. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Isn't it just so much fun? So much fun. We're going to put, okay, I got to get back to focus here. We got to get our stamps. We got to get, here it is, under here. 
Okay. Hello. Hello, Snowy. How are you? Thank you. I think this card is super cute too, Lynn. I appreciate that. Um, and so I want to talk to you about actually the stamping part of the, of the, um, of the project, because there's a few tips that I want to give you before we get started. So one of my favorite tools to use is the stamp and scrub. When I have photopolymer stamps, photopolymer stamps, if you pick these up and try to put them down, you could get them wonky. See, and I did that on purpose, but they can get wonky, especially these long skinny ones. Okay. So what I like to do is put them on my Stampin' Scrub and pick them up like that. Now I'm a little crooked, so we're going to do that again. Pick them up like that. That way they're perfectly straight. They don't go wonky. And so um, that is a huge tip because if you just take, and we have our birthday wishes here, so we're going to yeah, birthday wishes for this card. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. If you take and just put the stamp down, it's it goes crooked sometimes. Can y'all see that? With all my meters and stuff going on. So sometimes it will behave itself and lay flat so that you can pick it up with the block, but sometimes not. So if you struggle with that, Get your stamp and scrub, get a cloth. You could get a, um, a towel or a washcloth, something that will allow that photopolymer to kind of stick to the fabric. Okay. All right. So that's one tip. Okay. So we're going to ink up now, you know, when you're designing a card, how do you start? How do you know what size? Please go back to review video afterwards. Oh, I see, Mary. I see what you're, I'm looking at the other computer. I know exactly what you're talking about at the bottom. And it's on my phone. And if I try to move it, we may be gone. I mean, I, hold on just a second. I know it's distracting. So let's see if I can do something. Nope. I can't do it because it's on the mount. So we're just gonna just try not to look at all the all the stuff. Okay. Debbie says she lines her stamps up on grid paper, but now I will try it on the stamp and scrub. It's I love it. I mean, I just don't I, I never have trouble with it when it's on the stamp and scrub. Okay, so what I was saying is how do you know what size of card do you need? Like what size layer do you need to get started? Like you're going to start stamping and you're like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how big all this is going to take. So what I like to do, and I never consider this wasting. So those of you who don't want to, whoa, now we really have a problem. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to keep pushing through. We're going to make this card. Oh, mercy. All right. So I know that my flower goes off to the left. And so I'm just going to, I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to stamp. Okay. So that's my basis. And I know that everything else needs to go around it. And if you're, you know, if you struggle with, um, like you don't want to waste a whole lot of paper. I am going to be trimming this down. When did technology become a four letter word? Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Because it is. It is. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay. So I want to stamp my flower. Which way do I want it to go? I want it to go this way. So I decided that I just wanted to kind of cluster around the top and then I'm going to fill in. <laughs> you are one of the best. Hi, Grandma Jane. How are you? <laughs> you just have to keep pushing through. That's all I got to say. Um, and now we're going to do a yellow flower. But this one we're going to cut out. Do I have that? Nope. Get my 
my scrap. We're going to cut out our yellow flower. We're going to stamp it and get it ready. Nancy Lewis says, Sharon, you're awesome and my inspiration. Keep on going. Love watching you. You know what? It's entertaining, right? It might be a little annoying with the sound bar on the side, but it's entertaining. <laughs> okay. And now the other thing is we want our big flower. And we're also going to die cut that out. And I have Tahitian tied out. I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe we should add that to the cart. Eh, it's okay. We won't. We have enough going on. We'll keep it like it is. Okay. So I do know that I wanted my happy birthday wishes. So this is really how I designed this card. Totally. Okay. So I know I want my happy birthday wishes somewhere. And I didn't want to add a layer to hide anything. Okay. So I decided, oh, you know, I'm using the new in colors. I don't have to tell y'all what the in colors are, right? Um, Barbie says, you've got the share and keep pushing through. It's fun to see that you adapt to make it work. You know, in my earlier years, I think I would have just said, bye, we're not doing this, but eh, it's all good. It's all good. So I decided to try, what would it look like? Oops, we got it upside down. What would it look like if I straddled that stem? Hmm. Yeah, that worked pretty good. You see? Worked pretty good. So I'm like, all right. <clears throat> Debbie says, I have mesmerized them all. She, she knows all of the new in colors. Okay, so now we need our yellow um, we're going to get our daffodils a lot. Oh, we could do that in Tahitian Tide. Let's just change this card up a tad. We need this stamp right here. Oh, goodness gracious. Good thing the air conditioner's on. This stuff would make me sweat. <laughs> oh, gosh. Margaret said, it's like you are recording, but we, we can deal with all the things. I'm so glad, Margaret. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate your patience and understanding because it's a mess. So those of you watching the replay, you've already heard what's going on with the film, with the video. So I do apologize, but just focus on the card. All right. Let's just put a few of these. Wait till you see what I did with this because I've got some other cards to share. Y'all just wait. You're going to go crazy. You're you. I'm telling you, you're going to go crazy. Okay. So that's how I started. And then I got my stamp and cut and emboss. Oh, I think I stamped that a different color, but that's okay. I stamped that in um, Orchid Oasis, but that's okay. It's all good. All right. We're going to move this. Get our stamp and cut and emboss out. Oh, Roxanne, I love the new colors too. I just, it's, they just make me happy. <laughs> Grab this real quick because we'll need that. All right. So something I want to talk to you about is the new magnetic platform. First of all, it's heavy. It is heavy. It is one solid magnet. And if you ever had any of the other ones that had like the little round magnets all over it and you would put a die on and it would jump and this doesn't do that. This does not do that. So this is brand new. And I do want to talk to you about something because Stampin' Up! is really good about giving us the um, layering instructions and the layering instru instructions that came with, let me grab it. that came in the package say that, 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 one, two, five, three. Well, that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yay, Renee, I'm glad your magnetic plate will be there tomorrow. You're going to love it. So I sent out an email. If you're on my newsletter list, that's how you get a lot of scoop from me is by joining my newsletter list. I sent this out and the correct sandwich is just one 
five, three. So what that means is, because this thing is thick, okay, you got to watch your sandwiching. Um, had that one with the circles. Yes, the one with the circles was, it was tough. All right, so remember, we're going to cut out these two. Let me get my dies. <clears throat> so it's this one and this one. So the good news is, is that it stays and it doesn't jump around. And I, I have the old one that jumped around and I have used so much washi tape on that thing to get it to um, stop doing that. But this one, you don't have to. Uh, come on, keep turning. All right. All right, we're down here. So whenever, see how I was turning, turning, turning? Look at something, look at a little cluster. And now I can see the cluster here. And look at that. Boom. Goes right on. Okay. All right. So then our third part of our sandwich is the uh, number three plate. So we have the platform, which is one, the magnet, is, which is five, and then a plate, which is three. Uh, Delina says that she got a magnetic plate a couple of weeks ago and went to town die cutting. Mine is already starting to bow, but I've been able to bend it back to flat for a while. Bow? That thing is so thick and heavy. I'm surprised that it's bowing. Hold on. I moved my platform. Yep. I'm scooching it as I put it down. I did notice that it's not a super strong magnet, but it works and I love it. I'm glad you love yours, Delina. Um, I know Debbie, you know, surely they'll come out with the um, magnet plate for the mini. Whoops. Okay. I screwed up my, see how I was bragging. I probably moved my plate. We're going to, So thanks to television, I already have one done. <laughs> I was stamping some other things. And so I was like, I'm not throwing those away. I tell y'all what I was working on is the retreat projects. The Creative 8 retreat in July. Yep. Mine are all planned. You don't want to miss that retreat. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to bring back in our card. The mini magnet medic plate is in the catalog that has a 90 day window to get it. Yeah, it's going to take, it'll be here eventually. You know, a lot of issues are still involving all the shipping and things like that and making things, you know, um, life is, life is just not back to normal. Okay. So I know that I'm going to add my flower and I'm going to add, I'm going to add a blue flower now instead of the yellow. Oh, we want it down here. Okay. So that's my layout. That's how I designed. Hi, Deborah Rogers. How are you? Debbie Aldridge says she cannot wait for the retreat. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with my layout, although I'm probably going to scoot that up just a tad and maybe over a little bit, but that's basically it. So now I know that I need to do some trimming. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to trim and I didn't like the stem just hanging and not touching something. So I trimmed here. Okay. And then I kind of eyeballed it a little bit and I was like, yeah, we're going to whittle it down. So this is literally how I make my cards. I don't want to go too far, so we're going to go with three and a quarter, and we're going to look at it. It's pretty close, a little bit longer, but that's okay. Um, you know, sometimes I stamp up higher and all of that. Um, but yeah, now we're going to take off just a little bit more, I think, at the bottom. So what are we measuring now? We are right at four and a quarter. 
Okay. So yes, I have some bits left over, but that's how I design my cards. So if you ever wanted to know, that's it. Okay. And because I cut this one a little bit bigger, I need to cut, so I need three and a half by four and a half. So we have four and a half by three and a half. Oh, perfect. Okay. So now we're going to adhere these two together. And we just ran out of adhesive. And thanks to liquid glue, we're going to finish it up with that. So today in the studio, all of my retired stuff got pulled from the shelves, looking a little bare in the punches, looking very bare in the stamps. And I packed up mystery boxes. Mystery boxes will be on sale the end of June, June-ish, 1st of July, not the holiday, but they will go on sale. And they go fast. So if you've never done my mystery boxes, um, they are packed full of retired stuff, stamp sets, bundles, embossing folders, ribbons, embellishments, all the things. Um, okay, that doesn't work. So mystery boxes are the best, says Michelle. Delena, Delena says, mystery boxes. Oh, well, of course, we're out of liquid glue. <laughs> we are never out of liquid glue. We always have liquid glue. <laughs> mystery boxes are so much fun, and everybody has loved them. I've done those for a couple of years now. Um, and they go fast. So I will announce when they go on sale, what time and what day. If you want one, I, I advise you not to wait because they'll be gone. Right, Michelle? They go quick. All right. Let me scoot that down. Okay. We're going to grab our dimensionals. And we're going to pop this up. What is the other stamp set I'm using? Barbie, are you talking about this stamp set? I'm using Sending Smiles. Is that what you're talking about? They, I, it's, it's usually about a 200 to 250 value in the box. Sometimes more. You know, it's, I don't. I try to put some Christmas, some this, some that, but um, they literally, my daughter came over today and we just packed them. So there's no telling what you'll get, but they're fun. Um, Debbie says, I'll have to try that, the mystery box. I usually give my stuff to charities around here. You know, I, I, have, I have done so many things with retired products before, but the studio is small. I can't keep stuff. And if I ever showed y'all something that you couldn't buy, oh, I would never hear the end of it. I think I'm going to add another red flower because I didn't stamp that. Hold on. Hold on. We got to stamp that. Um, little one. And we didn't stamp the blue either. Debbie says, by the time I call Stampin' Up, I will get the story. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all were talking about something else. All right, we're going to ease in there and stamp that. I should have stamped before, but that's okay. There we go. Mary Lamb says she loves the mystery boxes. Hello, Cheryl Thompson. How are you, my friend? Okay, so we need something else. We need our sending. Okay, so we're going to talk about the sending. And I have added... Um, so you could, you can, this is the straw, uh, strawberry, sweet sorbet color. Um, I added the adhesive sheets, uh, the self-adhesive sheets to the white 
And I also added it to the red and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I just want to cut out the sending with, um, <laughs> with my uh, Stampin' Cut and Emboss. So we're going to grab that. And we want our dies. We just had them. We just had, here they are. So we're going to get both of the sendings. I think this, I think I love these. I love these uh, dies. Um, I love how big they are. That's, that's, I love big stamps. I love big dies. All right. So we want, we're bringing in our stamp and cut and emboss again. This thing is so heavy. Um, it has been asked, how much will the mystery boxes be? Um, <clears throat> good question. They are going to be a little bit different than in the past. You just have to watch for the information. Um, you guys, I will start. The best way to find out anything is to be on my newsletter list. If you're not on my newsletter list, below the video, you can join my newsletter list. You'll find out when the mystery boxes are going to go on sale. You'll find out all the scoop how much they'll be, um, all of that. So great question though. You guys are asking some good questions. Hard open designs. Please tell me I'm not the only one who went there. Oh, uh oh. And you cannot lie. Oh, <laughs> did I say something and y'all? <laughs> okay. What did I say? <laughs> all right. So I just want to make sure that I'm cutting on the cardstock side and not the um, adhesive sheet side. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to get our sorbet. And I did that wrong. We want this one. Yeah, we want this one in the red. In the red. We are in the red, folks. You like big stamps and you cannot lie. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't bad. That was funny. <laughs> All right, let's line these up. I like big stamps and I cannot lie. Now I've got songs in my head. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Hope. <laughs> oh, and the wood stamp sets. How many of y'all still have wood mount stamp sets? This is only hard because of the angle of my, you know what? Just for fun, I'm going to run that through one more time. Just the angle of my die. My die cutting machine. I love the Stampin' Cut and Emboss, though. Um, it's just, it's lightweight. It's not bulky. Get these off. Mary Eight says she does. Teresa says, I have some, but got rid of most. Isn't it funny how, like, that was the thing. We all had them. It was just fine. And then now I was like, nobody wants them. Because we've been spoiled by the photopolymer stamps that you can see through. Okay. So one of the best way, but one of the best reasons to use the um, self-adhesive sheet is there is the dot to my eye. Can y'all see that? It stays right there. And that's where we want it to stay until we need it. Okay. So now we're going to take off the backing. And we're just going to place it down and we kind of need, it's a skinny long word. So we're kind of placing it one letter at a time. 
one letter at a time. There we go. And now we want to go get that dot. And this is going to be fun to get the adhesive back off. So we're going to give it a try. It is so tiny though. Where is, where is my, there it is, my other take your pick tool. So it is so tiny that I'm not going to try to get it, uh, get the backing off. I'm just going to put a tiny minute dot of liquid glue right there. Whoops, wrong top. And we're going to pick this up and tap it down. It's tiny. There we go. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> so now we're going to bring in our card and we're going to pop this up with some dimensionals. Mary Lamb says, I got two wood sayings saying sets that are brand new this weekend at a consignment shop for $5. That's a great deal. We're going to add the big dimensionals and then probably grab a few small ones. There we go. I swear, I've had this thing for at least two years, I feel like, and I'm just now getting to where, oh, I might need to order another one. There we go. Um, Cheryl Thompson says, I'm doing well, thank you. You just know how to rack, rock any situation. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You know, it's just the show must go on. <laughs> the show must go on. That's all I can say. All right. So we're going to be sending birthday wishes. Whoops. Stuck to my hand. There we go. So fun. So that's how I design a card, okay? Now, let me show you my other cards that I have. Get all this other stuff out of the way. So there is another die that is new in the um, new catalog. It is called Dots and Spots, okay? There's tiny little dots and there's big spots. I guess that's why it's named that way. However, when you cut it, it cuts the big dots. So you need the little tiny ones to poke out. I will tell you the best way to um, add adhesive to this is the self-adhesive sheets. Number one, if you're trying to add adhesive between all those little dots, you're gonna make a mess, okay? Number two, when you use the self-adhesive sheets, and you go to pull it off, all those dots stick to the adhesive sheet. Remember my little um, my little dot to my eye? They stick to that. So you don't have to sit there and poke, poke, poke. Ta-da! Is that not fun? I love this card. Love it. So bright and cheery. Love it. So this one, we're sending a little note of thanks. And then here's a here's a... This is a Texas one. We are into blue bonnets in the spring. Mm -hmm. So now we're sending smiles across the miles. I pretended that these are blue bonnets and um, Indian paintbrush. It is a big deal in Texas. Let me just show you how big of a deal it is. So this picture hangs on my wall. There's the blue bonnets and the Indian paintbrush. I also have a windmill. This is an actual picture. I took a picture of my picture that hangs on the wall. 
And I even have a windmill thing on my other wall. So it's a Texas thing. And it's such a Texas thing that we put our children in fields of blue bonnets. And here's Baylor, um, my grandson. And we take pictures of them. Yes, we do check for snakes first and fire ants. So anybody who's, who knows about that, we do check that. But it is a real thing. So, okay. I think that's all I have to share with y'all tonight. Thank you for putting up with all of my screen issues. That's another phone call to that company. <laughs> oh, mercy. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the card and you enjoyed the process of me making the card for you. Um, and so, yeah, have fun with it. If you don't have this stamp set, you should get it. It's really a fun stamp set. And by the way, anyone who places an order on my website um, during the month of May, you get the technique tutorials, uh, May technique tutorials for free. And I have a very generous thank you uh program. It's called a shopping spree on me program. So if you're not familiar with that, you can check that out on my blog. So I hope that you guys, I, I was not going to give up and I'm glad y'all stuck with me. Um, <laughs> the real process, not the highlight reel. <laughs> I'm glad y'all like my cards. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Good night. I Enoch, I hope that you have a good night's rest and thank you for, she is in the Netherlands. So bless her heart. It is way late there for her. So happy stamping y'all. Happy Memorial Day. I will not be doing mystery stamping on Monday, but I'll be back live with you next Thursday night. So I hope you have a good evening, morning, day, wherever you're at. Happy stamping y'all.